if it gets really bad, I'll wear a mask. But uh, you know, I have to see you know how it, how it goes on a race day. Hundreds of thousands out and about in downtown Montreal for Grand Prix weekend, but smoke from forest fires that continue to rage on in northern Quebec is expected to cover much of the province Thursday, which may affect F1 festivities. We brought our N95 masks and. Um, it's a sad thing about the fires. People still come out. It's not enough. It won't be like New York smog there. We won't be choking. We had some fires in Oregon a couple of years ago, and it was much worse than this. So we were actually expecting to be a little bit worse than it is today. So we're okay with that. 104 fires were active Thursday afternoon, and as air quality was expected to deteriorate, Quebec's public security minister warned those in the Montreal area to keep their windows closed during the evening and, if possible, not to engage in physical activity outside. I'm concerned mostly for people who are older or for our kids, uh, you see. Those who are pregnant and with respiratory problems are also at risk. Side effects of smog can include itchy eyes and cold-like symptoms. The air quality index, what you want is of the lowest number possible because that means that the air is cleanest. And Montreal, for the overwhelming majority of the year, um, as, actually has good air quality. So that means that they are below the threshold of about 50. However, what we saw with the forest fires of about a few weeks ago is that the air quality significantly worsened. Remember, we want to be below 50. And with the forest fires, the air quality above Montreal was somewhere around 120. By midday Thursday, air quality in the city was moderate, just as Montreal's Environment Department released their annual report showing air quality has been worse off since the pandemic with 33 days of poor air quality in 2022, including four of smog. Now, when you also add a super or superimpose on top of that, poor quality air from forest fires or wildfires, there you're also adding another uh, level of threat because it's not just pollutions and toxins from the combustion of, uh, of, of forest material. You're also talking about an increase in the amount of gases that can be dangerous. A Grand Prix of Canada spokesperson says they're monitoring the situation and are in contact with public health officials. The air quality is expected to improve by Friday. We're not going to change our plans. We're going to do everything we planned you know, to, to do. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.